Praise the Lord. I feel like coming to you there so I can be part of you there. Praise the Lord. Tonight, the final night, <clears throat> and anything that is still remaining, the broom of heaven will sweep everything away. The joy of salvation, the joy of healing, the joy of power, the joy of the supernatural upon your life, upon your life over there, and upon your life over here, and everywhere we are connected, I pray the power will manifest in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this hour. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are going to do today in every life. For the young, for the old, for the men, for the women, for the people who have been in Christ for a long time. And for those who are just coming in. We are asking, oh Lord, that tonight there will be the overflow of the power of the Lord in every life in Jesus' name. From the soul to the heart to the spirit to the body, from the inside to the outside, your power will work in every life. Confirm it, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. That's good, but let's have a better amen. God bless you. You can sit down. Already in the evening sessions, which were referred to as revival session, we'll be talking about Christ. Christ, our Passover. And the Lord said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Number two, we have seen Christ, our peace, for he is our peace. He died for us. There's no peace in the wicked, for the wicked, by the wicked, through the wicked. There is nothing that shows calmness, serenity, or peace in the life of the wicked, of the sinner. But Christ is our peace. As we come to Christ and we turn away from our sin, from our evil, from our iniquity, from our transgression, it grants us pardon. It grants us peace. And a new life of peacefulness begins in our lives. Christ our peace. Then we learn Christ, our pattern, that actually when you come to the Lord first, the manifestation of his grace will grant you forgiveness and freedom and in your life and then you, can, you come again the second time and the second work of grace in your life it grants you purity of heart and makes you a peculiar person in the Lord. We we'll call it sanctification. And when the Lord has done that, saved, sanctified, there's still more. From the promise of Christ, from the provision of Christ, and from the prophetic utterance of Christ, there's power. And so Christ, our Passover, Christ, our peace, Christ, our pattern, now is Christ, our power. And I pray your life will not be powerless in Jesus' name. 
1 Corinthians chapter 1, reading from verse 24. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. You can see those three words there. Christ, the power, is our power. It tells us in Luke chapter 24, reading from verse 49, And behold, I, Christ, our Passover, I, Christ, our peace, Christ, Christ, our purifier, behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued, ye be enveloped, ye be immersed with power from on high. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But ye shall receive power. What are we receiving tonight? What are you expecting tonight? But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. What does that mean? The same power that was manifested in Jerusalem. That same power will be manifested unto the uttermost part of the earth. This place is far from Jerusalem. Looks like we're now, we're here in the uttermost part of the earth. The same power that manifested at that time for you here. It will be manifested in Jesus' name. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verse 32. This Jesus has got raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. Verse 33. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father, the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed for this which he now see. You see something tonight, and here you'll hear it will be yours in Jesus' name. Christ, our power. Three things we're talking about. Number one, the purpose of the followers' baptism. In the spirit, anything Christ does, there's a purpose, and He has a purpose that all His followers will be baptized in the spirit. Number two, the partakers of fresh baptism in the spirit, fresh, new, overflowing, the partakers of fresh baptism. In the spirit. Number three, the plenitude. Plenitude. That's fullness, actually. When we'll say something is plenty, 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 the plenitude of full baptism in the spirit. Look at number one. Number one, the purpose of the followers' baptism in the spirit. Acts chapter 1, look at verse 1. The former things, the former treaties, have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began but to do and teach. Now, we are the extension of Christ. That's why the church is called the body of Christ. He is the head, we are the body. And what he did, that was not final. He began to do. He began to teach. We, the body now, must extend, must continue what he began. Look at verse 2. 
it must chew until the day in the which he was taken up. After that, he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the disciples whom he had chosen. Verse 3. And then he tells us to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs that was risen from the dead, being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Verse 4 then tells us, and being assembled together with them he commanded them that they should not depart from jerusalem but wait for the promise of the father which says he ye have heard of me verse 5 for john truly baptized with water but he is the ye there but ye, I said that you, is she there? Is she there? Tonight is your night of power. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Not many days since, but age, but ye shall receive power. You will not receive weakness. You will not receive anemia being anemic tired weak cannot move what are you going to receive power dynamite strength after that the holy ghost has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem and in all judea and in samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth Three things there. Number one, the promise of the baptism or the Spirit. Number two, our portion of benefits through the Spirit. Number three, the proof of being baptized in the Spirit. Look at number one. Number one, the promise of the baptism or the Spirit. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 11, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that cometh after me is mightier than i whose shoes i am not worthy to bear he that's christ he that's a savior he that's a sanctifier he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and we're fire. I thought I'd hear you good evening. <laughs> baptize you. That word baptize means to dip you inside, immerse you inside, surround you with the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now, when somebody carries fire, you can tell. When there's fire, insects will not be able to go into that fire worms will not live dwell inside that fire crawling creatures will not dwell live abide inside that fire when the believer saved sanctified purified when he has the immersion in the holy ghost there is fire and every chaff will be burnt out of your life in Jesus name look at number two there number two there our portion of benefits through the Holy Spirit look at John chapter 7 reading from verse 37 in the last day that great day of the feast Jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink now 
Thirst is very important. And when somebody is not thirsty for one day, for one week, and he says, I don't, I, I can't drink water because I am not thirsty, something is wrong. Then when somebody has eaten, and he says, although I've eaten, I don't have the thirst or the desire to drink water. There is something, an ingredient missing in what he has eaten. When we eat the word of God, when we partake of the word of God, and then we don't have any desire for the power of the Holy Ghost, something is wrong. And the power will not be given if we are not thirsty. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow. Tell me. Tell me now. Shall flow rivers of living water. Hold on now. I know that many people mention baptism, baptism, baptism in the Holy Ghost. But can you tell honestly that rivers of living water are flowing from within you, gushing out from within you? And if rivers of living water, if they are there and there's so much that they are flowing out and gushing out of you. There will be freshness inside. We'll not be getting tired every time we walk a few steps. And every time we read the Bible, we'll not be dozing on the Bible. If rivers of living water, if those rivers abide in us and they're flowing out, the people who live with us and the people who interact with us, they will know rivers flowing out of him, out of her, unto me. They will not say, every time I meet Brother, so and so, I get discouraged. Every time I meet sister so and so, it's like, you know, I'm just fagged out, totally tired. I know he knows the Bible, he quotes Bible, quotes Bible, but you know the way he quotes the Bible, every time I get near him, every time I get near her, it's like I am crushed and destroyed we need to check up instead of just saying baptize baptize it says out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water look at verse 39 but they speak he of the spirit which they that believe on him shall receive for the holy ghost was not yet given because that jesus was not yet glorified. Look at John chapter 14, verse 16. It tells us, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, another comforter, another comforter, that ye may abide with you forever. Now Christ was the comforter to the disciples, and any time they had any challenge, he will comfort them, care for them. Now he said, I'm going away, but don't you be sorrowful. When I'm gone, I will send another like me. Another effective in comforting like me. Somebody says, I'm baptized in the Holy Ghost. A little problem. A little challenge will set him crying, set her crying. And he cannot point to anywhere in the Bible that will give him comfort. The comforter is absent. But he's claiming that the comforter is present. When we're baptized in the Holy Ghost, he says, I know that comforter will come and he will abide with you forever tonight is that night
Look at verse 17. Verse 17. Even the spirit of truth. Look at that. The spirit of truth. Now, somebody says, I have the Holy Ghost. And uh, he's reading a book. And there's error in that book he cannot detect. Somebody says it's baptized in the Holy Ghost and he hears something weird, strange, not according to the scriptures, and he cannot tell. And yet I'm baptized, I'm baptized. Hold on, my brother. Is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, and he, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. When you are saved, the Spirit of God bears witness, you are a child of God. He dwelleth with you. When you are sanctified, the Spirit of God bears witness, he has accepted your consecration, he has purified you, and he has refined your life. The spirit which you but the still a step further, he shall be in you. When you were saved, Christ was not dwelling inside those apostles, but now when the Holy Ghost comes, he, the spirit of truth and the spirit of power and the spirit of grace the spirit of understanding and the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of fire from the altar from heaven will dwell in you look at verse 26 it says in verse 26 but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father will send in my name he shall teach you all things Look at that. A portion in the spirit. He shall teach you all things. You ask somebody, he says, you know what? I'm baptized in the Holy Ghost. I talk in tongues. And then we'll say, which one comes first? The resurrection of the dead and the rapture of the saints. I said, uh-uh, I'm not a Bible scholar. That one I don't know. Which one comes first? The great tribulation. Or the second coming of the Lord. I heard our pastor saying something about it before, but now I don't remember. When you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, it says, He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. What message did we hear about Christ? in the morning mm. anyway it was a good message I like the message uh -uh, not like the message what did you hear in the morning well to be honest I don't remember when we have the Holy Ghost it shall bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you that's what we have our portion as we are baptized and immersed in the Holy Ghost. Look at John chapter 15. In John chapter 15, I'm reading from verse 26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. He'll show you Christ, Christ on earth, Christ on the cross, Christ who rose from the dead, Christ at the right hand of the Father right now, he shall testify of me. Look at verse 27, it says, and ye also, when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, empowered 
by the Holy Ghost, enveloped by the Holy Ghost, energized by the Holy Ghost, and ye shall also bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning. Look at chapter 16 of John, verse 7. John 16, verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient. It is profitable for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Verse 8. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin. Baptized in the Holy Ghost. He's come. And then somebody is doing something naughty, something evil, something sinful. And you say, ah, my friend, well, beyond this now, we should have graduated from this level. How about this? Ah, is it bad? I didn't know that. That is bad. I didn't know it's wrong. And you say, you have the Holy Ghost. When he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Then in verse 9, of sin, because they believe not on me. Verse 10, of righteousness, because I go unto my Father and you see me no more. Verse 11, of judgment, because the prince of this world is judge. Verse 12, I have yet many things, many things, many things to say unto you. But she cannot bear them now. Because the Holy Ghost had not come to them in that full baptismal measure. And there are people like that. They are believers. They are saved. They claim I'm sanctified. They claim I'm baptized in the Holy Ghost. When you open the Bible and you want to talk about the subject the Holy Ghost is emphasizing today, they're shifting from side to side on their chair. They cannot bear the teaching of the Word of God. All they want water and milk of the world and wants to go beyond the water and the milk of the world they're feeling some discomfort but when he is calm what you cannot bear now then he reveals look at verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth has come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and i will show you things to come tonight the story will change your experience will go higher you'll have the real baptism immersion enveloping empowering of the holy ghost in jesus name number three there number three the proof of being baptized in the spirit acts chapter one verse eight in acts chapter one verse eight but they shall receive power after that the holy ghost has come upon you that's the proof that's the proof it's not shaking power it's not falling on the ground, power. It's not foaming out of the mouth, power. It's not repeating the tongues of the pastor, of the reverend, of the bishop that is spoke from the microphone, power. That's the portion we have, and that's the proof of the baptism, immersion in the Holy Spirit. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come 
upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem. You'll be a witness. When the Holy Ghost has come upon you, ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto your Thomas part of the earth. Look at Micah chapter 3 verse 8. Micah chapter 3 verse 8. But truly, I am full of the power of the Spirit of the Lord. What's the evidence? And of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel is sin. A preacher says he's baptized in the Holy Ghost and he's preaching and he comes across the word of God that will convict people of their sin and he says I cannot read that one I cannot explain that one if I read that if I explain that they will not like it she will not like it. he will not like it and so he passes on and he never talks about sin that God condemns in every life only about love about grace about the goodness of God is a motivational speaker is not a preacher of repentance and faith in the Lord Micah said truly honestly sincerely I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel a sin. Look at Acts chapter 4, reading from verse 31. And when they had preached, the place was shaking, where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they speak, and they speak. They were filled with the Holy Ghost, refilled, a fresh baptism in the Holy Ghost and they speak the word of God with boldness what the use of speaking in tongues without boldness speaking in tongues without ability to declare the word of God with boldness look at verse 33 in verse 33 and with great power that's the proof of the Holy Ghost. He has come. And when he comes, he gives us understanding. When he comes, he, give, he gives us the boldness and the courage and the confidence. And with great power, gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Looks like your time has come. Yeah. I said, looks like your time has come. Yeah. And the Lord himself, faithful to his promises, will give us the real thing, the real power, and the real outpouring of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Yeah. Point number two now. Point number two the partakers of fresh baptism in the spirit. Luke chapter 11, reading from verse 9. And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Amen. Seek, and ye shall find. Amen. Why is the amen going down? Knock. And it shall be opened unto you. Look at verse, verse 10. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. 
Look at verse 13. In verse 13, if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? When you add salvation, you ask. When you add sanctification, you ask. And as we are going to have the infilling and baptism in the Holy Ghost, you ask. Three things. Number one, praying for the promise of the Spirit. Number two, perceiving the presence of the Spirit. Number three, possessing the power of the Spirit. Number one, praying for the promise of the Spirit. Look at 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Ask him for the promise of the spirit. Let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me james chapter 1 verse 6 in james chapter 1 verse 6 but let him ask in faith you're saved let him ask in faith you're sanctified let him ask in faith nothing wavering for he that wavereth it's like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. It tells us that we must ask in faith. Number two. Number two there, perceiving the presence of the Spirit. Now, you sent to someone and you said it shall come to you. And not only to visit, but to dwell, to abide, to stay in the same habitation house where you are. When he comes, you will know. When he stays, you will know. If he's present there, you will know. You will not say, I asked him to come. I don't know whether he has come. You will know. I asked him to abide with me and abide with me forever as Christ has promised. If he is abiding there, you will know, you will perceive the presence of the Spirit. Acts chapter 10, verse 33. Immediately, therefore, I sent, Cornelius talking to Peter, I sent to thee, and thou hast well done that thou art come. Now, therefore, are we all present here before God to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. That's the attitude of anyone who is going to receive uh, the freshness of the baptism uh, in the Holy Spirit. We're all here and we're present before God to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. And then uh, in verse 44, look at that. What Peter yet speak these words the Holy Ghost fell on all them. How many of them? 
all them how many of us tonight i said tonight the holy ghost fell on all them that heard the word now how do we know that is now present how do we perceive that is now present look at verse 45 and they of the circumcision which believed were astonished surprised amazed as many as came with peter because that on the gentiles also was poured out the gift of the holy ghost verse 46 for they heard them speak with tongues peter did not teach them how to speak in tongues he didn't say don't speak your greek language repeat after me and then faster and faster and faster and then now you've got nothing like that all these things that people what would do we do that and they give you the fake counterfeit and you don't have the real comforter the spirit of truth it says for they heard them speak of tongues and magnified God then answered Peter verse 47 can any man forbid water that these shall not be baptized which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we as well as we in the same manner that we received nobody teaching us how to speak in tongues now when we have salvation salvation comes of the joy of salvation and nobody tells us at the point of salvation you have confessed your sin rejoice 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 start laughing start laughing then you have salvation uh -uh. why are we deceiving the people when the salvation really comes it will come with joy it will come with the peace of god at sanctification we don't tell anybody to conjure and think and imagine peace and calmness the deep peace of god in their heart no when they have the sanctification that deep peace of god will be there the same thing with the holy ghost we don't have to tell anybody don't talk english again don't talk uh, your bbo language your epic or don't talk your you know potter language anymore uh, just uh, you know say whatever if a uh, bar comes to your mind bar time uh, far, and all that comes to, we don't we don't do that they said they received the holy ghost as well as we and i pray your experience will be genuine in jesus name and look at um, acts chapter 6 verse 5 acts chapter 6 reading from verse 5 and the same pleased the whole multitude and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the holy ghost a man full of faith and the holy ghost look at verse 8 in verse 8 and Stephen full of faith and power that's the proof he got it you will get it Stephen full of faith and power did great wonders and miracles among the people look at verse 10 in verse 10 and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which they speak. Look at number three there. Number three there, possessing the power of the spirit. The power of the spirit. Second Timothy chapter one. We're looking at verse six. Second Timothy chapter one, verse six. Therefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up 
the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Verse 7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. You know some people, since I started speaking in tongues and I received the Holy Ghost baptized, I'm surprised. I fear. I fear the future. I fear people. I fear men. Uh -uh. That's not the Holy Ghost. It says, Jesus said, the Holy Ghost is another comforter like him. And Jesus did not come into anybody's life and then make him afraid. No. When we have the Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth, and the comforter, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. For you, amen. Yeah. Point number three now. Point number three, the plenitude of full baptism in the spirit. Three things. Number one, the comfort and the consolation by the spirit. Number two, the courage for conquering in the spirit. Number three, our completeness in Christ through the Spirit. Number one, comfort and consolation by the Spirit. Acts chapter 9, verse 31. Acts chapter 9, verse 31. Then at the church's rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria, and were edified, walking in the fear of the Lord, not wanting to offend the Lord, and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost were multiplied. In the comfort of the Holy Ghost, they were multiplied. The comfort of the Holy Ghost will come to your life. At home, in the office, anywhere you are, Nothing will jerk you or jolt you, frighten you, terrify you when the Holy Ghost takes residence inside us. His comfort will be there. His consolation will be there in your life fulfillment. I come to number two there. Number two, the courage for conquering in the spirit. We're looking at Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 1. It says in Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Verse 37. In verse 37, it tells us there, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. I was waiting for a good amen there. We are more than conquerors. Anybody there? Your conquer. You conquer sin. You conquer sickness. You conquer demons. Any demon. Any demon. Wherever they are coming from. You conquer in Jesus name. Holy Ghost man. Holy Ghost woman. As you are coming like this. They will be clearing out of the way for you. You will conquer premature death. You will not die before your time. Older, 
older, older, and healthy. Now, there are two kinds of old people. Some people are old and frail, old and sick, old and they have old age disease. And they are managing to live and they are just like, why am I here? Is it not better to be up there than to be down there? And then I'm so weak. But then there's another kind of old people, old person, old and healthy, old and agile, old and standing, old and powerful. Now. Let me tell you, I have a story to tell you. The power that conquers, that conquers disease, sickness, premature death in your life. I won't tell you the story if you don't shout. Amen. Last month, March, we were in uh, Yenegua, by Elta State, south, south, like you. There was one of my daughters there. Before I came there, she had cancer. The cancer affected her breast, her body, her legs became paralyzed, hands became withered, and the cancer continued to spread, and the eyes became blind. In the hospital, the good, effective, expert medical doctors confirmed and they said she had only one month to live. And then on Thursday, we started the Bielsa Crusade. And she said, once I hear the voice, because she couldn't see anymore, carry me there. Once I hear the voice of my father, I will be well. you will be well. Let me tell my daughter now to speak to you directly. Daughter, talk to them. Thank you, Daddy, for giving me the opportunity to share my testimony. In short, I suffered a lot for two good years. I suffered. Everybody around, even my street, they thought nobody believed that I'll make it in life. At first, they said breast cancer, and the doctors gave me only one month of survival. If I didn't cut off the breast, but we prayed, and I believe God. Before you know, my two legs paralyzed. I couldn't walk. My arms paralyzed with that. This my aunt, you are seeing now that I am moving. Paralyzed, everything about me collapsed. My whole system collapsed. I cannot eat, nothing I can do. If I lie down, I lie down 24 hours. I said, if I want to go and we, they will carry me to go and we. Anything I'm doing, they carry me to base, my mom, my husband, everybody around me. Before I know, my two eyes got blind, totally blind. Went to the hospital. They said the eye I cannot see with it again. That the eyes are bad. But God kept me. For three months, more than three months, I could not eat. Even when the doctors fix drip, the vein, everything reject, even the drip from my body. But God, this is my God that I'm serving, prove himself in the Bayasa State Global Crusade. The first day, the first, very first day, immediately our daddy in the Lord climbed the pulpit after introduction. I just need a foundation. 
from my two ends because I raised my hand with my blindness. I'm not even seeing anything. I raised my two hands. I said, I told myself as we were going, I said, immediately I heard the sound of my father and the Lord. Everything about this, my brother, God will do it for me. That was my belief with my husband. We held our hand and prayed because even the doctors, they've given up. They say this was this case. Because even the leg, when they look at my age, they say it's osteoporosis. What is osteoporosis at my age? Everything collapsed about me. I cannot fool. Everything collapsed. But that first day of the crusade, immediately our daddy climbed the altar and said, In Jesus' name, that amen. I felt as if an electric shock from my hands down to my leg. And immediately, everything about me, even my nails, my nails that have dropped, everything came back alive. My eyes, I can see. Since then, I'm seeing up to date. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! What God cannot do, for God exists. Somebody praise the Lord! Your time. Your time. You will conquer from tonight. Every challenge of your life, you conquer in Jesus' name. Number three now. Number three and final. Our completeness in Christ through the Spirit. My brother, I'm looking at you there, you are complete. Yeah. Dear sister, daughter, you are complete from tonight. Colossians chapter 2 verse 9, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Verse 10, it says in verse 10, And ye are complete. And ye are complete anything missing your body god will supply and ye are complete your eyes and ye are complete your ears and ye are complete your backbone and ye are complete and all your bone structure and ye are complete your spiritual life and ye are complete job work profession prosperity and ye are complete in your family husband and wife you are barren now barrenness is gone and ye are complete and ye are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power amen i say amen for you I shout amen for you. It's bowed and eyes closed. Christ wants to come into your life and make you complete. But you have to give him chance. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, me unto him, fellowship with him, and so with him. It's knocking at the door of your heart right now. And if anyone, anyone, salvation is for everyone. Everyone here, everyone in every location, all over Nigeria, all over Africa, all over every continent, every country of the world. If anyone hears my voice and he opens the door, Christ is ready to come in now. It's about a nice close. You want to be complete in Christ so that everything in your life is supply. But it starts with forgiveness of your sin. It starts with salvation of your soul. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. A life of completeness is about to begin right now. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. 
to the left, to the right, to the center, to the front, to the back, anywhere you are in any location, over the radio, over the television, raise up that hand now. Amen. Now, if you're raising up your hand, please stand up. Completeness has come. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Stand up right there. You want Christ to come. Christ to come. He'll forgive you. He will cleanse you. He will start a, a life of fullness and completeness. He will start it in your life right now. Wherever you are, you say, I'm not, you know, I'm not happy the way I am. I'm not complete. I'm not full. There is an emptiness. There's a vacuum inside me. And I want that life of completeness to start right now. Where are you? Raise up that hand and stand up. I'm praying with you right now. Hand over your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ and say, Lord Jesus, I give myself to you. Come in, come in, come in and dwell with me. He will. I'm praying for you now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for every brother, every sister, everyone standing now. I pray forgiveness will come to them. I pray freedom will come to them. And I pray all the power of sin in their lives, blot them out in Jesus' name. Let the life of fullness and completeness touch in their lives right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Keep on standing, keep on standing. Our counselors are there and they will give you the slip to feel. When we finish that, then total, complete, full, completeness will come to every life. This is the last night. You've been doing well all these nights. And you'll be staying, stay tonight. You'll carry your miracle back home. Give me a better amen. amen. I call on our state pastor, Pastor Andrew Sagi, uh, to come and lead us at this time uh, before I come back for the final prayer. You are welcome to the kingdom of God. Let's clap our hands. For them, for the Lord Jesus, who brought them into the kingdom of God. Counselors, please attend to them. Let's get every detail of their particulars. Write it in capital letters. Those from the villages where they don't have clear addresses. Give them the description of your house or the household you belong to. Tell them the compound you belong to so that by the grace of God we'll be able to reach you and be of further help to you. There's a book by general superintendents that you, you will be given to enrich you. The fellowship started with the Lord today. It will continue with us in Jesus' name. The rest of us, get ready to catch your miracle. It's going to fall on you. The sister from Baesa, I passed Nani Loha very well, the husband very well, the picture, and the, the, the video sent to us before this miracle happened. But you see now, she's completely free. So if you are there, get ready. Not until the GS lay hands on you or you are saying, I want to see him. I want to see him. You are seeing him now. You will receive your miracle today. 
Today is your day. Tell yourself, today is my day. As you have said, in the ear of God, so he will do to you. Counselors, let's make sure we spread everywhere to attend to everybody. Places where we didn't even figure people will be there. Let's cover everywhere. The word of God, like electricity, has moved everywhere. That sister said, the power of God, like electricity, struck her. And the enemy was driven away. Let's quickly attend to them. You can see God's miracle in this crusade, how God has kept everywhere conducive, comfortable, what God did in the wilderness, covering his children with pillar of cloud, we have experienced the same. The scourging son was no problem to you. The Lord made everything good. And everything will continue to remain good in your life. Can I hear a greater amen? amen. Counsel us when you finish. You wave your hand at me. So me the sleep you've completed to your supervisors. The supervisor are on, on vest. Many of them. Today is my day. Today is your day. At the middle, if you are finished, can I see you wave your hand? God bless you. At my right hand side, if you finish, can I see you wave your hand? Right hand side, can I see you wave your hand? Okay. Left hand side, if you finish, can I see you wave your hand? Get ready. Get ready. The man of God is coming soon. The sickness is going to fly away. You will see them no more. All captivities will disappear. Counsel us, remain where you are to help those who need your help and to bring out the people when the pastor has finished ministering in prayer. Right hand side, are you finished?
the middle said they are finished. Left hand side, have you finished? Those on radio and television, get ready for your miracle. Get ready for your miracle. Radio and TV. You can take down this number for contact. Zero. Zero nine one. Five four four. Four nine. Two six three. If you're outside Nigeria, plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Please locate the nearest deeper life to you. Your beautiful journey has started already. God bless you. Get ready now. The pastor is coming out to pour showers of blessing on us. Your miracle you will catch. Praise the Lord. Your time has come. Yeah. You will conquer. Yeah. Every sickness. Amen. Yeah. Every disease. Yeah. Every evil spirit. Yeah. Every demon. Yeah. I am a conqueror. I am a conqueror. Whatever sickness and whatever challenge you have there on your body, lay one hand there and raise up the other hand. When you hear the final amen, it's done. Tonight's testimony from you. I said from you. And you have anybody in the hospital, you can raise up your hand on their behalf. Anybody in the village, anybody anywhere, you can lay your hand on yourself on their behalf and raise up the other hand. Anywhere you are, you're listening over the radio, over the television, you're listening in any region, or you're listening in your own home. Miracle time has come for you right now. Let the Lord see that hand up. Father, in Jesus' name. You have been very gracious to us. Marvelous and great have been your power. And you have manifested your miracle power every night of this retreat. We're asking, Lord, now at this time, this last night, of the retreat I pray send forth your power unto everyone in Jesus name make everyone a conqueror to conquer every sickness every disease every demon every evil spirit every attack every affliction i send forth your power upon everyone now in jesus name over here in this location everywhere in every stage every region every local government in nigeria every country in africa everyone everywhere America, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, every country, Lord, manifest your healing power in Jesus' name. 
cure the incurable. Heal every sickness. Destroy the works of the devil. Confirm it right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has done it. It is confirmed in your body in Jesus' name. You have a miracle right there. Tonight is night of praises to the Lord. Celebration of what great things God has done for you. Check yourself. Counselors, check them. And bring them out. Check yourself. Wherever you are, check yourself right now. Check. And shout praise the Lord. Check. Shout praise the Lord and start coming out. Start coming out. The Lord has done great things from Thursday through Friday, Saturday, and today you are free. Check yourself and start coming out. Start coming out wherever you are. Check and come out. It is done. Start coming out, start coming out, start coming out. Start coming out. We are waiting for you. Yes. It's happening there. It's happening there. Yes, check. It is happening there. It is happening everywhere. Even outside Nigeria. It's happening in Europe, it's happening in America, it's happening in Australia, it's happening in Asia, it's happening everywhere. Miracle by your side. Radio and television, check yourself. It has happened. It has happened. You have gotten it. You have gotten it. Just test your, test your, uh, uh, the, the test of your miracle down now. To the, uh, to the number you were given now, and all over the world, God will be glorified on your behalf for what God has done. The miracle is happening everywhere. Start coming out to my left hand side so that you will be interviewed. Those who receive miracles on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, today, Start coming out wherever you are. Shout praise the Lord wherever you are. Shout praise the Lord wherever you are. At my right hand side, at the middle, at the extreme over there. Shout praise the Lord. Tonight is night of shouting. Today is the final night. Today is the grand finale. Today is when all your problems have been buried. You will look for them, you see them no more. They are terminated. Start coming out, start coming out, start coming out. Start coming out. Come out. More miracles taking place wherever you are there. The miracle is enveloping you. Is enveloping you. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Yes. It's happening there. It's happening there. It's happening to you. Start coming out. We are waiting for you. Waiting for you. 
Shards of blessing. The eye of your of the power of God in your land. Yes, it's happening there. It's happening there. Bring that person out. In the children's church, check yourself there and bring those children here. We want to listen to the testimony of children. You were, you were in your hall yesterday. Today, I guess you are still there. Bring them here. We want to listen to their testimony. All those outside the crusade ground, bring them in. Yes! It's happening there. It's happening there. Bring them out. Excitement will never stop in your land. Praises will never stop in your land. Your joy will know no bound. Start coming out. Bring them 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 out. If you are clapping your hands, clap your hands properly. As they come out, as they come out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It is done. Bring them out. The counselors start getting them ready, start lining them up. Yes. Yes. The Bible repeated. Yes. Bring them out. It is done. Eternal problem gone. Lameness gone. Yes. Bring that person out. Bring that person out. Bring that person out. Have one story to tell about your life. Bring them out. Bring them, bring them, bring them out. Bring them out. For the rest of this year, your story will know no bound. Your story everywhere. Yes. Bring them out. Take them to my left hand side near the canopy. Bring them out. Bring them out. The testimonies cannot be too many. Everyone receiving the touch of God. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Yes. I can see walking stick on the air. Bring that person out. The Bible is real. Real because it's the word of God. Real because we, the Bible is being displayed in our days. Jesus is alive. Yes. 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 Bring them out. Tonight. 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 It's happening everywhere. Joy unspeakable everywhere. Raw miracle, naked miracle everywhere. You cannot deny it. Yes, come out. Bring them out. Bring them out. It is done. It is done. The blind seeing, the lame walking. Yes, yes, yes.
to the left hand side there, you will hear stories of great move of God tonight. Yes, yes. The Lord has done great things in our midst. In our midst. In our midst. In your life. Come out and give your testimony. Those on social media, get ready. Start sending your testimonies from every part of the world. And those from other locations, get ready. We want to see the miracle of God live as it is relayed to the whole world. Let's interview them. Let's interview them. As we interview them, let's look for I am receiving information. You see this thing on my ear here. I am getting connected that miracles are happening online as it has never happened before. Blessed are your ears you will hear tonight. Don't go anywhere. Remain where you are. Blessed are your ears. You come out, we want to hear your own also. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. It has happened. It is happening. Check yourself. It's still happening. It's still happening. You cannot tie the hands of God. The hands of God are not shutting. It has touched you. Come out. You know it. God has touched you. Come out. We are waiting for you. Counselor, start lining them up. Start lining them up. Every miracle is great, but we want to line them up according to the degree of this uh, of the striking power of what has happened. Start lining them up. On Thursday. You receive yours, come out. Friday, you received, come out. Saturday, yesterday, you received, come out. Tonight, you receive, come out. It has happened. It's happening everywhere. Yes! Yes! Blessed are your mouth. Blessed are your ears, your eyes, for what we are seeing. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. On my right hand side, it's happening. At the middle, I know it's happening. By the left hand side, shout praise the Lord and come out. And those people in their houses who are hearing and you have also received the church of God, why not come and give your testimony as well? Great is the power of God. Counselors, let's quickly now. 
You had many people yesterday who have not testified yet. woman in Taraba who said the joy that the jealous brother has arrived weighed up in her it led to her delivering the five broad that has been there for a long period as you clap your hands your miracle will extend to every part of your body Please come out to the open here. Dr. Alfred Onwa, a medical practitioner, consultant, ophthalmic surgeon. We're happy tonight that uh, the testifier, Ijoma Elem, had precipitate labor just of one hour duration. She had this pregnancy and the labor started this evening and by the grace of God, he know this hospital and praise the Lord. Let him testify by herself now. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am so, so happy. 
over glad. It just happened this evening. But before I say anything, my name is Brother Elim, Elma Keze, Elimbo uh, District, Origwe Old Group. While the choir administration was going on, the praise and worship, I was just busy rejoicing and uh, clapping. You are big, 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 big. You are great, great, great. I didn't know what was happening beside me again. Only for me to hear a tap at my hip pocket. My wife was telling me, I am not okay. I said, you are okay. I said, you are okay. I said, as long as you are inside this place, the power will get to you. And while she was now saying, I'm serious, I'm serious. I said, me too, I am serious. <laughs> and not, not too long, while the lead singer was saying, what's going on? I now looked at her. I said, this is more than to be careful. Luckily, I now saw my sister. She just passed by. I just excused myself for a while, and I called her. I said, sister, you are a woman. She's a woman. Take good care of her while I'm busy singing. <laughs> I was just busy singing. She now ran, and they went to call somebody. They now went to the welfare. They went to the, she walked down from where there. That opens the field. She went, she, they walked down from there. And they went to the welfare, only for me to see that, uh, what is happening? An ambulance, my wife in an ambulance. I said, are, are you okay? I said, I'm, I, I am waiting for the children to come so I can hand over our things to them so they, will, so they won't look for us after the GS administration. She said, everything is okay. Do you believe that as they just left, not too long, the Pakistan uh, uh, administration was going on, I was not comfortable anymore. My wife has gone. I said, no, let me go look for the children myself. I went to the children's church. Before I could come out from the children's church, I now got a call from her. And she said, bring, go to the house, bring the bag, bring the bag. I said, where are you? <laughs> the summary of the whole thing is this. The ambulance had not gotten to Eneka Primary Healthcare there right inside the ambulance they just came out from the gate from the exit gate right inside the ambulance she gave birth to a baby boy i couldn't <laughs> brethren i couldn't uh, i look at her she's she's as though she never gave she as though she never gave, uh, gave birth Praise the i am Lord. so happy and i said i will return all the glory to god tonight Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She has, now, she, she has little thing to say. God bless you. Okay. Just. I just want to appreciate God. He has really proven himself big in my life. I want to return all glory to him. It is only by him that this is made possible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, just take them to the clinic so that they will do all necessary things there. It is where with the baby, it's where we far. Let's give praises to the Lord in Jesus' name. Next testifier is Sonny Elemaya, who has been blind for about 20 years duration. But tonight, I said tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, our pastor and just pretended pastor, Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, the blind eyes opened. Tell us your testimony now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
By name, I am Sonny Elemeya, a citizen of a river state under Onega, about a Bandoni local government. Um, I, I was a, a member of this Deeper Life Church, but when I, I retired from Minister of Commerce and Industry at Water Court here, I traveled to home. Around 19, uh, 2009, this, started, this very, uh, sickness started with me. So as I, I reached home, I was not even worshiping with the Deeper Life again. My wife still continues with the Deeper Life today. So any crusade that occurred, that all happened by GS. This my wife would like to carry me go. Even I hold her, when I tell her that I hold her, but I return the same. He took me to many, many, many places, struggle, struggle to see that I will see road. Because she is struggling, is, is working alone. Our occupation at my home, farming and fishing. This man will cut bush and plant by herself. And they have not supporting her. Even as we come here for this crusade, she was dragging me to see. If we don't meet up, it will be very difficult for me to sit down. But she must surely see that I will sit down. It is yesterday when this thing happens. Even the Thursday which will come, I was, I was annoyed because I see many things happen. I say, ah, uh -uh. I call on my wife, say, what is this now? Tell this us your problem. So now, as she said, I should wait until my time. As I pray this evening, uh, I see sign to see that in my hours and I've seen road. So praise the Lord. We test you now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you see now? Yes. Close one of their eyes. Yes. Close this one first. No, wait now. No, wait. Wait, wait. Close it. Do like this. This way. Yes. Close it. Close it. Have a... Wait. How many fingers is this one? The five. And now? One. Okay, let's try this other one. Close this one. Close this eye. Please. How many fingers are this now? Look at me. One. Let him go. No, he cannot open the two eyes. Okay, go. Let's press him. Praise the Lord. He believes God has touched him. It will manifest. The next testifier is Mrs. Uh, Hannah James. Oh. Is it you? Sister has a testimony to give us. You will give your testimony now because your card is not. Praise the Lord. My name is Ihechi Favor Sodiari Cooking. I'm from Elimutu District. From Odara, Deeper Life Bible Church, Nigeria. And I want to testify to the glory of God. This testimony happened at Showers of Blessing Crusade. During that time, before that time, I was having hotness of the head. My head was hurting me seriously. When it comes like this, the only way. The only way I can help myself is to go to the bathroom and be pouring water. Or I carry water outside and be pouring, pouring on my head. That is the only way I can get myself. And when it's happening like that, the whole body too will still be hurting me and I'll be disorganized. This thing disturbed me. But by the grace of God, during this program, I cried to God. I cried to God. And the Lord visited me. Praise the Lord. And another one happened during Bayasa Crusade. That time I was, see, also has been disturbing me for some time now, like three years. So it has been disturbing me so much. To the point it will come here and be in this place. Sometimes to breathe will be a very difficult thing. The back as well, I've been suffering all this pain. But I prayed to God. During that Vyasa crusade, the Lord touched me. And the manifestation came at the first day of this particular retreat. Because after that crusade, that time I received the healing. 
It started again on Tuesday after I ate a car and slept. So it started again. I was surprised in the morning, this particular day, this particular retreat, the first day being Thursday. I was so weak. It was pinning here, disturbing me, disturbing me. I will eat. It's as if I've not eaten. It was disturbing me so much. So I have to lie down. By the grace of God, my children helped me do some things. Then they prayed for me during the time of the crusade. I said, okay, let us go for the crusade. As we went there, I said, God, as I want to eat this food, let your power come upon it. And this thing that has been disturbing me, since I've received the healing, Father, confirm it. And as soon as I just ate the food, when I got to the house, lo and behold, us had disappeared forever in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I am here to confirm this. This morning, from morning till 3 o'clock, I did not eat anything. And nothing happened to me any longer. Praise the Lord. Osa disappeared. The next person. Our sister uh, Hannah James had fibroid, high blood pressure, hypertension, and cholesteremia for nine years. After the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, all those symptoms disappeared. Hannah, please tell your testimony. Church, praise the Lord. This night, though yesterday I was feeling the fibroid movement in my stomach yesterday, I couldn't sleep too well. This evening, the thing was still moving. I said, God, I came to meet my father. I can't go with the sickness. Behold, cough was there. I have, I have BP also. And God healed me this evening. Cholesterol was healing this evening. Because if I cannot talk well, I can't even breathe. So talking is a problem. But now people can see me talking. You can see me as talking your praise. God have done it for me. I can, if I don't explain, it will, be, it will be too long. As I met our father in the Lord, my father in the Lord. That's my daddy. I call him my daddy. Day and night. And this night, I had to give God all the glory. Because it is done. The father was there for seven years. Seven good years. The father was there. This high breathing, it's lasted for two years. Like cholesterol. BP is this making six years for BP. But this night, God's miracle take place in my life. I say, all the glory. Lost to God Almighty. Amen. Satan is wicked. All the Lord is back in our life. God has offloaded everything. The same thing with you, if you are still in that condition, they are offloaded. Our next testifier, Sister Enes Dakoro, who had hepatitis B, virus infection, had peptic ulcer disease, and uh, pneumonia for four years. He has gone to the hospital, and uh, all the tests, they have done, they have even repeated the test. And by the grace of God, on Thursday, the very first day of this retreat, after the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, all the symptoms of hepatitis, the symptoms of ulcer, all gone. Tell your story, your new narrative. group, um, Botacourt region. I've been very sick for years and uh, presently In I'll live situations, you may need to temporarily. Presently 
I was diagnosed of having hepatitis B. And before then, I've been going to hospital almost every month. And they'll be treating typhoid and malaria. And before you know it, all the hairs in my body became yellow. My finger became yellow. I couldn't eat. And then I said it has gotten to a stage. All my lymph, the lymph node became swollen. Most of you don't know what is lymph. is when you have injury, that swollen thing at your joint. From my neck to my toe, it was swollen. They said after this stage, it has gotten to the cancer stage. So, but I didn't know what to do. I've done the test they asked me to do. I started taking the drugs. Then the biosacro said the, thurs, um, the first day, the Thursday, they asked me to repeat all the tests I did last year, this year, and the money is so much, I didn't know what to do. So when the, uh, the, as the program started, I entered the hall, I dropped the results on the seat, and I invited all the sicknesses, every report. I said, come and sit down. Today, we are going to hear the word of God. So the moment the pastor came up, he just said the topic, um, full and free, um, freedom, true faith in Christ Jesus. As he was just doing the introduction, I'll be looking at the document. I'll be looking at the document as though I'm seeing all the sicknesses because I was having hypotension, I was having ulcer, I'll be having problem with the kidneys, I'll be having problem with the liver, I'll be having problem again with the reproductive system, the muscles of my body, everywhere, my head, my eye, my teeth has changed it's even brown, if you can see it. They are all brown. So they are telling me after this stage, it's going to be the cancer stage. So, but as I dropped it, I'm looking at it. And pastor is saying, free, total free, um, redemption free. That's what I, that is not of your righteousness. It's not because you're committed sin. It is free. I don't need to pay for it. So I looked at it and said, I am free. And before I knew it, before the introduction to say the first point, Things just started leaving my body, like a strange forces from the liver, the kidneys, the stomach, and from them, I started feeling better. Now, when I came to the retreat, I, the, I had to buy a new mattress. They said you should do away with everything you're sleeping with. I bought a new mattress that I still couldn't sleep well. But when I came to the retreat, I, I didn't have a better mattress, and I was just sleeping on four chairs put together, and I slept well like a baby. No frequent urinating. And even when I came out to give the testimony there, all my limbs in the hands were still swollen and my legs. But as I went back to wait for the message, now they are all dried up. You can see it swollen and dried up. May the name of the Lord be praised. Because I was saying just me, one me with all the sicknesses. May God's name be praised. The result is here. It has been, I've gone to, done, I did another test. And it has shown that my liver functioning test is normal. It is done. Okay. Doctor, this, these are the results. The liver function test. The, the serum, urea, work. and creatinine. All the tests here are normal. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. She's free. Now to social media. We have power explosion on the social media. And we begin from Russia. The picture you're about to see on your screen, the gentleman is D. O. K. K. from Russia. He had excruciating jaw pain. And you recall that tonight, uh, he's pointing to it right now. He said that as our father mentioned after he shared that testimony from Bielsa and mentioned that every pain, every body pain anywhere is gone, he checked up after the prayer and that jaw pain is totally gone. Praise the Lord. I will take this one from the GS official Facebook page. Bankole Babasoya. It says that just while the GS was about to pray, and he just mentioned my case, he said, your backbone will be free. Instantaneously, indeed it's a miracle, the backbone pain disappeared, and right now, I am free. 
and we now take you to South South Delta State Nigeria Delta State Nigeria live Church praise the Lord this testimony is coming to you from Udu region Delta South Delta State standing beside me is brother Tejiri Deyemi who was shot in the leg since last year February and after being shot at the leg surgery was carried out and since after the surgery he has not been able to walk without support or with the help of clutches but after the prayer of the man of God on Friday night he has been able to walk without support or clutches so I'll give him the mic now to tell us his story Church, praise the Lord. My name is Ogunetaji Vidimeni. I'm from uh, Onguru, uh, Udu local government, Delta State. Delta uh, State. Uh, last year, I say, Mago my side, Mago carry my walking tools. Reaching there, I meet a, a security guy. He told me he's. he's, he's Security. So he say who I be. He come ask me who I be. I go say I be Tyler. He go say man I call the landlord. I call call the landlord. Number no call go. Then he just seize my phone. Then he just shoot me for my leg. So he, sh he shoot me for my leg. Finish. Then he can't leave me. Uh, he walk can't leave me. I holler. Nobody they come and jump. Come outside with this of my other leg. So people for the bush when they don't say I be work man. They work for the place. They call rescue me, carry me, uh, rush me, go hospital. So since that last February come, they call the post so you give me for my leg. Since last February come, I never use my leg to work out. I'm using crutches. So uh, our, uh, uh, mama, our mama for compa, for our compa, for our area in uh, Ongoru, invite me in this global retreat. So when I hear deeper life, this deeper life is my childhood church. This is church uh, my uh, mother and my father is going when I'm when I'm small. So I just when I get here since that uh, on on or Thursday, I'm just believing God that I will leave crushes. Then I will use my two legs to walk. So since uh, uh, on Friday on Friday night. That on Friday night when pa, after Papa finished preaching, he said, "Shake yourself." Uh, just check yourself. Anything you are not be doing, just check yourself. You will see that God has done, done a great miracle for you. So that confidence, I leave the crush and begin to walk with my two legs. So I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. Praise the Lord. And um, the miracle and the power of the Lord is moving everywhere. But we remain in Delta where we bring you this testimony from Delta South, Sister Faith Prosper from Orekope Group, right there in Delta South, who says that she, for eight years she's been having this problem of a growth in an excretory area. And this is accompanied alongside as well with um, body itching and the skin disease. But after the prayer of the man of God, last night, last night, the eight years growth. The body itching, the skin disease, everything vanished. She received the thought of the power, and right now she is free. From there, we go to Bayelsa. Great things are still happening from Bayelsa. Let's take this one, Bayelsa State Live. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Victoria Imalue Ntonadi. I'm from River State, Ugoni. I reside in Bayelsa. I come and testify the goodness of God towards my life. It was during the time of Grover Crusade uh, in Bayasa on the third day that God healed me. I've been having diabetes since 1994, during the time that I was delivered, one of my child that the doctor said that I have diabetes. And since that time, I was, was in trouble, worried. The diabetes did not leave me. I take drugs, do everything. But during the time of this crusade in Bayasa, I was delivered. 
praise the Lord. And um, the miracle, we just cannot exhaust them. We have this one from Junwo Arora, who says that his right leg had been stinging him since 2018 to the point that he was referred to a neurologist. But at a total freedom crusade, while the man of God was praying, he had his case mentioned, and that was the end of that problem. He received his healing, and now he is whole. We we'll take you to Lagos State. The picture on your screen, the lady is Oluchi from Iduro Group in Lagos State. She had been in the hospital with abdominal infection and serious pain. The GS mentioned the infection in the abdomen. And after the prayers, she got her healing. She demonstrated she could turn and she could move around. And she said all the things that drugs could not do. Jesus has done by the power in this hour. We conclude with Cross River State Live. Praise the Lord. There is joy and gladness in my heart this evening. I just want, there are many testimonies the Lord have done for me, but this one that happened in the spot right now. My name is Sister Margaret John Amoko. I'm from Obudu. I want to thank God for what he has done for me just now. As the prayer was going on, as the general of us here was speaking, the last amen, what happened? I was telling God, Father, I can't go back the way I came. So the sign, I told God, show me a sign. Let me feel your impact. As soon as the state general of us here came, and he started mentioning of the sickness, he now called Henya, is he pied, is he anya? Immediately, he just as if I felt a stroke of a thunder in my tummy. This hernia has been here for nine years, but God has taken me away. Humbly, can hernia. Thank you. Put your hands together. It's back to the state of us here. In this testimony. We have Sister Abigail Chuku, who has been inflicted by peptic ulcer disease for eight years duration. And uh, during the December crusade, after the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, she received her healing. Testify, Sister. Church, pray. The Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Abigail Chuku from Emoha region in Emoha local government in Rumuji district, Nigeria. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. Uh, since uh, eight years now, I have been spending money on money from time to time, buying drugs for Ulcer. When I heard other people testifying of how God healed them, I was thinking, is it only, uh, is it when you testify of the goodness that you, the healing will take place? I was wondering, praying, spending money on this ulcer, which the, the pains, I could not persevere it again. But to the glory of God, in last year, December, during the explosion of miracle crusade at uh, Lagos when our father in the Lord was praying that ulcer disappeared from me since December till now I have not had any symptom of ulcer even if I did not eat up to two o'clock I am feeling I am still strong without any feeling of ulcer in my life may the God who has done it may his name be glorified in the Jesus name Osa
next testifier is Cipre Wisdom. He is testifying of his sanctification experience gotten during this program. Testify to the glory of the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Before I continue, I would like to read two scriptures. And I will make it brief. Okay. By the grace of God, I'm saved. But after my salvation, I needed sanctification. It happened that I have been saved by the grace of God, sanctified and baptized, baptized in the Holy Ghost. But I lost it. So after some time, God granted me mercy and I reconciled back to God. But since then, I seem to lack the faith to receive my sanctification when I have, I have been already saved. So I have been praying about this thing and been hoping for it. But I have not been sure. Something came to my mind. And the thing was that it's like I'm seeking for experience before believing. And that there is something in me. I'm not willing enough to receive it. My will is not submitted to receive it. So during yesterday, when the power pastor, our general superintendent, was like was preaching, my faith was lifted. So during the prayer, he said that there is three um, levels of prayer that he's going to pray that yesterday, that first prayer. For those people who are born again, they are sure, but they are not sanctified. The experience is, the experience is not sure. He said that we should raise up our hand. So I raised up my hand, and I believe God. And though I behold, I got it. And that is why I came this moment to give the glory to God. Church, praise the Lord. You got it. You got it. The next person now. But our favor, Bolawa, was healed from the fracture of the scapula uh, during this retreat on Thursday, the first day of the retreat. After the prayer of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi, and he all those pains, he could not move his scapula, everything okay. 